Welcome everyone to the Hawk's Eye View. My name is Andy, and this is where we talk about all the things happening around the SUNY New Paltz campus. Today, we're going to discuss housing in New Paltz and get the perspectives of students who live both on campus or off campus. Andrew in the field has more of that now. Thank you again, Andy. So I'm here with another on-campus New Paltz student, Annika. Yes. So nice to meet you, Annika. Nice to meet you. So what made you choose to be on campus rather than like being in an off-campus house or something? Okay, well for me, it was actually, it was a whole situation. Um, there, but the biggest thing I think that really impacted it was there's kind of a housing shortage going on in New Paltz right now. Rent is going up like crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think I was in a room, I had a room in a five bedroom apartment um, with like not really any common space um, and it was already 700. I know other people are paying 900, so I'm like even over a thousand a month on rent wow. just for a room. So that's crazy. yeah, it's get, that's getting crazy um, to the point where now it actually is cheaper to live on campus when yeah, before yeah. it was cheaper to live off campus. Um, and then, yeah, just the shortage. There's, it's hard to find a place, especially like yeah. last minute. If one plan falls through, it's hard to find a backup. Okay, so what are some of the cons of, what are some of the benefits and cons of being on campus, you would say? Mm, the benefits, um, close to class. That's, <laughs> yes. that's always awesome. Um, I mean, it's convenient having, you know, like, you don't have to make your food and stuff like that. Yeah. And you don't have to clean your house fully. So there is that, which is nice. Um, but there are a lot more cons I've yeah. noticed, which is no privacy. Um, okay. The meals, I, even though you don't have to cook them, might not be exactly what you need for yourself, or like for your, might not fit like your lifestyle. How do you like the food? Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, so not not a fan. I'll just say it. Um, but also I am I'm a little bit picky with food, so I think that might go into it. But it's you know like cafeteria, you know. Yeah, yeah. I feel you. Yeah, some of the I've heard some. Very different Oh, about sorry. The food. Okay, this might. Be, I have heard. I've heard a lot of people getting a little, you know, like let's just say intestinal <laughs> discomfort. Yeah. Yeah. So like stomach cramps. Not not food poisoning. Just but like you know the food just doesn't sit right sometimes. So that's always a concern, but not ideal. Yeah. Well, thank you for telling me. Yes. Thank you for giving us your time, Monica. Yes, thank it was you. a pleasure meeting you. Yes. Thank you. Back nice to you, Andy. Andy. We asked the faculty of SUNY New Paltz to comment on on-campus housing and received a response from Residence Life Assignments Coordinator Colby Havish. He let us know that on-campus housing comes with a lot of amenities, like living in a community where needs and opportunities are accessible and convenient. Join us after the break where we will discuss what it is like to live off-campus in New Paltz. There are many things to worry about these days, Staying in the place you call home should not be one of them. If you've lost income due to the coronavirus pandemic and have been unable to pay your rent, you may be eligible for $5,000 in free emergency rental assistance from the Illinois Housing Development Authority. Please visit era.ida.org to apply for help beginning August 10th. Are you struggling to pay the rent because of COVID-19? If you qualify for unemployment benefits or have lost income due to the pandemic and are unable to pay your rent, you may qualify for the New York State Emergency Rental Assistance Program. Landlords may submit an application on behalf of tenants who qualify, and tenants will be notified of any amounts paid on their behalf. Apply now at otda.ny.gov slash erap or call 844-NY1-RENT. Those are some powerful messages. Back to housing in New Paltz here on the Hawk's Eye View. We have Andrew in the field once again with off-campus housing students. So I'm here with one of our off-campus New Paltz students, Dylan. So Dylan, can I ask you a question? Yeah, of course. So how do you like living off-campus as a New Paltz student? Um, I like it a lot better than living on campus. I mean, on campus had its perks, but living off campus, um, I don't know, it just makes me feel more like a member of the community here, um, makes me feel like I have my place here now, so. Okay, so yeah, that kind of leads me into my next question, so why did you choose to be an off-campus student 
rather than being on campus? Like, what are some other things that are good about being off campus as opposed to being on campus? Well, when I was living on campus, I was living in a triple, so it was very crowded, um, and I kind of didn't know what it was like to have my own room here. Um, so having that is really nice, um, especially with where our house is now. You can't really see it on camera right now, but we're right across the street from campus, so that's very nice. We're actually closer than I was in the dorms to my classes. Um, but living off campus so far has just, it's been nice just because you kind of get out of the traffic of campus yeah, yeah. a little bit and you, um, yeah, you kind of can make your own schedule a little bit more. It's not as dictated by like RA rules and stuff. There's, there's a lot of pros. There's a lot of pros. Okay. Yeah. So I actually didn't know you were an on-campus student before this. Can mm -hmm. you go into more detail of what it was like being an on-campus New Paltz student? Yeah, sure. Um, I lived in Ridgeview my freshman, sophomore year, um, it was, it, I mean, honestly, since it was Ridgeview, it was a very good experience, um, but I was in a triple, so it was very crowded, but the building was very nice, we had AC, so I think I have kind of a specific experience for a person living on campus, because I know not everybody's fortunate enough to get a building as nice as Ridgeview, um, but seeing some of the other buildings, having friends in some of the other buildings, I saw kind of all uh, ways of living on campus in New Paltz, and I can definitely say that living off campus is better for me, at least. Um, well, awesome. Thank you for your time, Dylan. Yeah, of you course. heard you from Dylan. Thank you so much. Thank you. Back to you, Andy. Opinions on housing around SUNY New Paltz seem to be pretty mixed, but we did hear many pros and cons of living both on campus at SUNY New Paltz and off campus in the surrounding town. Join us tomorrow morning to hear about dining options in New Paltz. This has been Andy Wright. Thank you for listening to the Hawk's Eye View.